Hi, my name is Rich Levitan, and I'm going to share with you my insights into video laryngoscopy, but you should always refer to your operations and maintenance manuals for your GlideScope products. The GlideScope hyperangulated blade has a hyperangulated shape relative to a conventional Macintosh shape. The intention of this is to follow the curvature of the tongue around the natural curve and with less force be able to expose the larynx. Let me explain the rationale for the rightward turn that I make with the rigid stylet. I am following around the curvature of the blade and if I were just to try to advance this into the trachea you can see that the rigid stylet and tracheal tube is pointing upward but the trachea points down. So by changing my grip and coming over the top that rightward twirl changes the inclination of the tracheal tube. So as I push it down, it is now matching the inclination of the trachea. Let me show you this from a different perspective. The inclination of the trachea is pointing down. The tracheal tube curvature is pointing upward. By rotating the tube to the right, we are changing the inclination of the tracheal tube, and we are also disengaging the tip of the tube, which can catch on the cricoid or tracheal rings, and now the bevel goes up, and it has less mechanical resistance to insert into the trachea. As I pick up our hyperangulated stylet, I want to be conscious about watching the insertion of the stylet under direct vision into the mouth until it becomes visible on the screen.